In this video, I'll talk about auto tagging and what it is. So there's gonna be a lot of things I'm gonna cover here. So what is it? Let's just look at the definition. It's a feature that automatically tags a parameter to your URLs to help you track offline conversions and also report data back to Google Analytics essentially. And that's how I think about it. It's essentially a way for Google Analytics and Google Ads to communicate information about the clicks that are occurring. So this will make a little more sense as we go along. But I want to explain what the Google Click ID, also known as the GCLID, that's what that stands for. If you ever see a URL that has GCLID equals and then some random characters, about up to a hundred characters, that's the Google Click ID. That's a unique identifier that has a whole bunch of information packed into it. And then Google Ads sends that to Google Analytics to unpack and put in the reports, give you information about that click and so on. That's how I think about it. There are a lot of benefits to using auto tagging versus manual tagging. So your options are you can manually tag your URLs or you can use auto tagging. And the options are pretty obvious. Like I've seen so many times where people are manually tagging and they don't do it right. It's hard to keep track of all the final URLs um, in your account and keep their tracking perfectly accurate. And especially when you're using Google Ads Editor, you're doing bulk changes. One simple change that you didn't really pay attention to or you didn't go back and double check could absolutely break your tracking if you're relying on manual tagging. There, there's a lot of other, I think the main benefit is you get more information put back into Google Analytics. That's super helpful. I'll show you what I mean here in a little bit also. Take question mark equals and then some random string of characters. Let's actually go to, let's say the blog. Okay, so I'm gonna append parameters to the URL. I hit enter. And basically, if your site doesn't break, you're good. You want to test it out on a few pages. Because I've seen where you, you do this and your site will not support these parameters. And what we're looking for is this GCLID equals and whatever. So if that didn't break your site, you can use auto tagging. But you can also like manually tag your URLs, like I said. So you don't have to use auto tagging, and there are situations for some people that they have to turn it off. And they, they lose out on a lot of information, but here's what would happen if you were to manually tag. So this is the Google URL builder. It is where you put a URL in, and you can define up to five parameters. Source, medium, term, content, and campaign. So for this campaign, I'm just gonna erase that one, and you can see the URL here. So if I were going to take this URL, I could go into my account, put that as the final URL, and I would do that for every single ad. I would be manually tagging. And in this case, I would turn off auto tagging because I'm opting to manually tag. So that's kind of it in a nutshell. You only get, doing it this way, you only get information about the source, the medium, the term, and you can also make these dynamic, by the way. If we were going to, if we wanted this dynamic, we would put curly braces around the keyword and curly braces around the creative. This will pull in the headline of the ad that was created at that time, the first headline. It'll also pull in the keyword dynamically into your Google Analytics reports. Okay, that's really not a lot though. Uh, as we'll see also here in a minute. I know I'm delaying a few things, but um, I want to give you an example. So this is, I, it's Thanksgiving. I searched for Thanksgiving meals. I go down here, I see an ad. I don't like it when people click ads. So Walmart, I am so sorry, but I have to show these guys. So if we look in the URL, they have a bunch of tracking parameters like you would expect from Walmart. See, like SEM, probably non-brand, 
And then we see and gclid equals this random string of characters here. This is the Google Click ID. And this goes to Google Analytics, gets unpacked, and you get a lot more information about the click that I just created. So in, in AdWords, actually in Google Analytics, you will see sometimes not set. And that can happen when you don't have Google Ads and Google Analytics linked, or if you're not using tagging correctly. So let's look briefly at what I mean. Here, this is, you know, what, what is not set? If you ever see not set in your reports, it's because you probably don't have it linked um, or auto tagging is on, but the cost data is not applied or the URL is redirecting. So that could strip off the GCLID if your URLs suddenly redirect or the GCLID is dropped for some reason or the manually tagged URLs are missing parameters. Manually tagging means using this method to push data to Google Analytics. So those are some reasons about not set. Um, I also want to show you, you know, I've heard cases where people say, well, I cannot do auto tagging because the, my, the way my system works internally at my company, the UTM parameters are used as internal variables for our company. Whoever set that up, doesn't matter why they set it up. It's a really bad idea to do that, by the way. But whoever set it up, that's how it is. So that's just the way it is. Well, what you can do is go into your Google Analytics account. And just I just want to let you know that this option exists. Under the property and property settings, there's this allow manual tagging to override auto tagging. And what that means is basically you can still have auto tagging set, but for the parameters that you want to override, for example, let's say it was campaign. Let's say we are a company and for this particular campaign, even though this campaign right here is called campaign um, ABC, the campaign UTM campaign value has to be this number. So what we can do is check that box here to override the auto tagged value. If it was campaign ABC, the name of this campaign, then that would be put in the report, but we can override campaign ABC by manually defining this here. And that's what that means when you set that checkbox here. So lastly, I know this is very long winded, but I wanted to be very thorough with this topic because it's a topic of confusion. How do you actually set auto tagging real quick? Go to your campaigns. In the interface here, we're at the campaigns section. Go to settings, go to account settings, and then this is where you see auto tagging. A simple little checkbox. It's so deceiving, but this is a huge deal. Okay? So I think that covers everything I wanted to talk about. Again, long-winded, but let's go on to the next video.